All right, guys, I'm really tired. <laughs> Damn, he stole it out of your mouth. All right, guys, <laughs> YouTubers. <laughs> so thank you for making our last video such a good hit. Today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about free wheel versus a cassette hub. Guys gonna be like, oh, there's no difference. You What's the difference? You didn't say your cool way. What? What's Cut cool set. I, I have learned. I have learned, guys. I've been reborn as cassette. See, I went to the school, the bicycle university. So, guys, some of you guys might be going, wait, there's no difference. Guys, there is a difference. Now, some people come in, they're like, hey, I want a hub. Which hub do you want? You want a free wheel hub? Let me see. Let, let me see if I can balance this. And a cassette. Guys, this is the two difference. If you guys notice, a cassette, you see the gear is on there. The only way I could remove that is if I unscrew all this and I take it out. Whereas the free wheel, that's it. This is it. I can buy this hub. The free wheel screws on here. And, and it screws off. Without this, you could still have the hub. A cassette, you have to buy the hub with the gear. But guys, this is where the difference is. On the free wheel, you guys notice this thread body right here. Now I don't have a flip flop to show you guys. And what a flip flop is, you could go and look at one of the old, old videos we had. Okay? Wait, it shows. Huh? Is this a flip flop? No, that's a thong. Ah. Okay. It's a thong. So it has thread on both sides. But this is the profile one, it's a classic one. It's only on one side. Well, because it's only on one side, this one here, guys, this is the, the free wheel. The smallest free wheel you could put on this hub is a 16 tooth. And you could go all the way up to, I think 28 tooth free wheel. It's like gigantic. If you have a flip flop where you have a threaded one on this side, it could go from 15 tooth down to a 13. I don't think they make a 12 tooth free wheel. So that's the difference right there is there is a limit on how small you can go you could only go down to a, thir a 13 if you have a flip-flop. Now we go to a cassette. Look how small that is, guys. This is a nine tooth. Well, Profile has a nine tooth. At one time they made an eight. Did you remember that, Elf? At one time they actually made an eight tooth. Guys, guys could you imagine eight tooth? It's smaller than this. It's like the size of a little, that, 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 I want to say it, nut. It would eat up that, yeah, that lock yeah. nut. It, it's the small than this nut. Oh God. This, <laughs> the shiny nut. So, it didn't work. So they, they, they. they and you would snap chains, remember? No, the snap chain wasn't due to that. The snap, the snap chain was due to, not, not just that. It was not just <laughs> that, but not being nutty. So, so guys, so the cassette, it allows you to run from a nine tooth 10 tooth, all the way up to whoever could make you a custom one, which is one of these, which is called a cog. So somebody's gonna go, well, you know, you got the luxury. Guys, if you, get, if you, know, if you know a person that, that has a machine shop, he can make you one of these things this big. I don't care who you know. Nobody's gonna be able to have a machine shop make you a free wheel, all right? So, Look at all these gears. If, if you decide you want to run this bigger, all you do is pull this part apart. Four hours later. And then you would. <sighs> there. Okay, there you go. 
Just bang it on your head. Oh God. Oh, I hope you miss. There we go. Outtakes with Foo. Okay, so we're back live. We're back live. So guys, you would unscrew it, pop all this off, and then pop this kid sky. Well, the pause spring fell out. And see, so you have that. All you do is slide in this. One of those days, huh, Foo? You slide in that easy. Right here, and guess what, guys? The world is your oyster. You can put all this on. You can put all the different cogs on. The bigger cogs, the smaller cogs. What would you call it if something gets in the way here? Would it be a cog blocker? <laughs> See, guys, there goes that joke again. That look, if you, everybody, <laughs> did you read the comments? Thank you to everybody that says I'm always getting picked on. You no, always pick it on me. You said that you were funnier than me. No, no, but I also said, do you guys agree that Elf pick on me? Yeah, you, you do. Pick I don't on deny me. that. So, guys, by taking what we call the one piece driver off and we put on the cog driver, it could fit any of these. Infinite. This one hub could do it all. But back to this, guess what, guys? This will only allow you to run. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, but you can't go any smaller. And if you have the luxury of having a flip-flop, then guess what? You could run it all the way down to 13, but that's it. Now, some people will find that I won't need to run 12, but you know what? For some of you guys, the different terrain you guys ride, some of you guys now on the bigger bikes, you guys are like, hey, you know what? I want a wheelie fast, I want a wheelie slower, whatever your reason is. And you weren't wanted to go down to a 12, a 11, a 10, because you want a different gearing, you cannot do it with the free wheel. Now, does that make the free wheel hub like a cheaper hub, meaning in quality? Absolutely not. The hub itself, the hub itself, it's made almost exact like this. The bearings is the same. The material is the same. The only difference is the way the drivetrain works in there. That's it. What is it? Do you think that the free will can hold more torque, like the free will hub versus the, the one with the internals, if you had a big free will, like if it was like an, at 28 or whatever? Personally, no, I don't think it'll make a difference. I don't think it'll make a difference because this right here, right the on. harder you pedal, once, it's, once it tightens itself in and it, it bottoms out on that piece, it's not going anywhere. So some people might say, oh, strip. There's no way you're gonna strip this unless you install it wrong. The same thing with this, there's no way. But guys, the thing is, some th we've had somebody that misunderstood. They go, well, the free wheel is cheaper than a cassette. Here, here is an example. This hub right here is the profile pre uh, free wheel hub. The complete front and rear set, it's gonna run you about two to 225. Whereas the complete mini, it's gonna run you about 330 to 350, depending on where you get it. And they're like, oh, well, I'd rather buy this, it's cheaper. But guys, this is not included. It's just a hub. The three, the 320, 330, 350 comes complete, ready to go. If you wanna buy a free wheel, and you wanna buy a free wheel, like a, like, a, like a white industry, or a profile that gives you the high ratchet, high engagement, well, those, those all cost about 100 bucks, and guess what? You're at now the same price as the cassette, but you don't have the options to run smaller gearing. So I hope you guys understand that. I think I kind of went through it a little fast and stuff like that. If you guys got any question, comment in. But just to, to kind of reiterate it, the main difference is not about quality. It's about gearing options. With the free wheel, you're limited to how small you can go. With the cassette, you could go from nine all the way up to whatever big size you got that a free wheel got. Thank you guys. You guys like, dislike, subscribe. Anybody need a car wrap? Anybody? Hey, anybody need a car wrap? See my man here? My man right here, he raps, he's a rapper. Bust out some line. 
<laughs> that was literally my life. Hold up. So, yeah, the, just a little shout out to the homie Squeegee right here. I don't know. What's your Instagram? Like Squeegee something. Squeegee32. This guy is the guy that raps. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a camouflage type R here. This 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 crazy guy here is the one that rap. I'll put a picture right here. Okay guys, I'm out. <laughs>